Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Python for basic speech recognition and turning speech into text. All right, so this is kind of a fun concept uh, to sort of listen to the microphone, recognize the words that you're saying, and then have the program actually respond or do something based off that. It's the premise of how like uh, Alexa stuff and Hey Siri and OK Google and all of those programs work. They basically use this module, speech recognition. Um, and then on the back end, you will want to make sure you have Pi Audio. You'll want both these modules imported and run pip to install them in your program. Um, but then it's just a very basic series of commands to actually read data in from the microphone, listen to it, and then process it into text. And then the program to actually say what to do with that once you, um, once you run it is pretty straightforward. So first thing we want to do is obtain audio from mic, so your microphone. Uh, and to do that, we're just going to make this variable recognizer. So this is our actual tool that will be the speech recognizer. Comes from the speech recognition module dot capital R recognizer and then just these empty parentheses. And then what we're going to say is with speech recognition dot microphone, so capital M microphone as our source, then what we want to do inside of that is print the initial command to the user that'll just say, say something like that. Um, and so that's how the user will know the program's running and it's time to speak. And then we'll say audio equals and then our recognizer variable, recognizer dot listen. So listen is the command to actually listen to your microphone. And then we just want to listen to what? To the source, which is what we set up the speech recognition dot microphone as our source. And now we'll say, recognize the spoken words with Google's speech recognition. Oh, I think I missed an S. Sorry if you guys hear any banging. It sounds like they're laying carpet in the apartment above me. Um, lovely. Okay, so uh, what we want to do is we want to set all of the words that the program has detected equal to the recognizer dot and then recognize Google audio. And there are different packages that you might have seen in there when I typed in recognize, recognizer dot recognize. There are these different um, kind of back end tools that you can use to recognize words. I'm going to use Google's. It's free. It's really easy and it's super accurate. Um, okay, so that's creating a list of all of the words that we have. And now we're just going to respond to spoken words. All right. And what we'll say is first, we'll just check and see if we got a greeting. So if hello is in our words, then let's just print hello to you too, like that. Okay, it's very cool and very simple. And let's do an L if. Uh, so L if how are you? is in the words list, then we are going to print doing great. How about you? Okay, so we'll and then let's just throw an else in here. If uh, we don't get a uh, hello or how are you, then let's just print um, not sure how to respond. Okay, and now obviously these are some pretty basic scenarios, but uh, the, really the only limitation to how you use this software is your own creativity and what your actual application is. So you can kind of picture the Amazon or iPhone or Google libraries that do parse your speech. They must have massive catalogs of different sort of if conditionals to check what you said and what you should do based off of that. But for now, let's go ahead and run this and see if it works. So let's run easy speech to text and it'll say, say something, hello, computer. And let's see what we get. Hello to you too, how cool is that? And you can actually see um, it says some things to, uh, to kind of tell you what the back end is doing result to here. Um, and it gives you a confidence score, which means uh, it's telling you what it thinks you said. And then it's giving you the transcript of what it thinks that you said. But you can see all of these different transcripts where it thinks um, that we said these different things 
Hello is in all of them. So that's why it's important to pick out like the key important words there. And you can see it saw we said hello and it said hello to you too. So this is a super cool tool. It's very basic. It's honestly, it blows my mind that there are so many of these amazing modules put together by like fantastic programmers, completely available for free use in Python. Uh, I hope you like this video. If you have any questions about how to apply it in your program or what a logical like next step in a project might be just let me know about in the comments below i hope you found this useful uh, if you did consider leaving a like on the video subscribing to the channel that sort of stuff helps me out a ton i'm throwing together a few basic uh, text to speech and speech to text videos because it's around the holidays so um, i hope you guys are having a merry christmas happy holiday season and uh, as always thanks for watching and good luck with your projects thanks bye